Okay, I saw the little red light come on. Thanks so much, Ariana. Good morning, everyone who's here today and for those of you who are joining us via the recording. Hello from Austin, Texas. This is Leah DeForest. I'm the Communications Manager and OER Support Service Manager with Texas Digital Library. As Ariana mentioned, I'm joined today by Deanne Ivey from UT San Antonio Libraries. She is also one of Texas Digital Library's OER ambassadors who we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna to start uh, today's presentation by sharing a bit about Texas Digital Library and our OER support service. And then Deanne and I will get to talk to you about our OER ambassadors group. Deanne's our slide manager today, and so I'll be calling for her to uh, change on to the next slide. So Deanne, I think we're ready for the next one. Thanks. What you see here is TDL's mission statement, a collaborative consortium based in Texas and rooted in higher education. The Texas Digital Library builds capacity among our membership for ensuring equitable access to and preservation of digital content of value to research, instruction, cultural heritage, and institutional memory. TDL provides technology infrastructure to academic libraries across Texas including services for digital preservation, open access journal hosting, digital repository hosting, electronic theses and dissertation management, and research data management in addition to our OER support. Texas Digital Library invites any institution interested in becoming part of our consortium to reach out to us. We need your energy and we need your expertise to continue growing the digital library and archives community here in this region. And we are especially interested in partnering with our colleagues at HBCUs across Texas. Next slide, please, Dean. TDL launched our first ever OER support service in fall 2019. And this service has a few components to its structure. First up, the OER ambassadors program, which we're gonna talk about in the forthcoming slides. We have membership with the Open Education Network, which is formerly named the Open Textbook Network, an organization that like Texas Digital Library is embedded in and partners with academic institutions. Some of our specific Open Education Network related activities include the OEN Train the Trainer workshops, um, which started off being in person, but have now moved to virtual like everything. There is an OEN Summer Institute, also virtual, um, Pub 101, a really helpful publishing training, and um, also access to the Open Textbook Library. We also have a discount program with Pressbooks, which many of you might be familiar with. This is an online book and document formatting system that librarians and faculty use to create books that are accessible on all platforms. And then our members are eligible for a 30% off discount to Pressbooks plans. We also host quarterly meetings with OER practitioners from TDL member institutions. We had our first one last week and it was super fun. I think these are going to be a big hit and we just have open dialogue and, and, and really forth, forthright conversations. And for those of you who are TDL members on the call today, I do hope you can join us for future meetings. And then finally, we have this conference, Open Texas, an annual conference in partnership with our good friends at the Texas Higher Ed Coordinating Board and the Digital Higher Ed Consortium of Texas. And next slide, please. Okay, here's who we came to meet. Uh, this is, you're looking at a photo of TDL's OER ambassadors. These folks have committed to serve for a minimum of two years by developing a community of practice around OER and becoming a source of expertise for all consortium members. Representatives are from Texas A&M University, Texas A&M Corpus Christi, Texas Tech University, Texas Women's University, University of Texas at Austin, University of Texas San Antonio, and West Texas A&M. So now I'm gonna hand things over to Dan, who's gonna um, introduce each of these ambassadors and also talk with you more about what we've been up to since we started convening in July. Hey. Well, good morning, everyone. I am uh, Deanne Ivey. I'm the OER co coordinator at UT San Antonio Libraries. And um, I'm just really excited to share some of the work that the OER ambassadors have been doing in the last, since last summer when we started meeting. Isn't that right, Leah? It was last summer. Um, and 
just talk a little bit about our work and how we work together, some of the things that we are planning to work on and share out with the broader TDL community. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about, uh, Leah mentioned the institutions that are represented by the ambassadors, but I'll talk a little bit about uh, the individuals that represent those institutions. So we have in the far left side of the screen, Ashley Morrison, UT Austin. Uh, Taylor is next, um, kind of, just, just a bit over. Um, and she is at uh, West Texas A&M University. Rusty Kimball represents uh, A&M College Station. Um, we have uh, Lisa Lewis from uh, A&M Corpus Christi. Um, and then Amanda Zerang from Texas Women's University. Um, and uh, Lisa Lewis. I'm sorry, excuse me, Laura Hines <laughs> from Texas Tech. And then of course, um, me, I'm over on the right representing UT San Antonio. And it's really truly been a, a pleasure working with this team to talk about our OER initiatives at our different campuses and some of the work that we can contribute to at a higher level to at the state to create awareness and also to support um, OER, OER initiatives across the state at TDL mem member institutions. So I'm really excited to be a part of this team and it really truly has been um, an amazing ride so far. Um, really has opened a lot of doors. Uh, I know that um, we're a little bit uh, of a barrier for me, you know, opening the conversation up at a broader level. Um, so some of the things that we've been doing um, since last summer, we do have monthly meetings and it's been so amazing to be able to talk about OER during this time of online learning when it's needed more um, now than ever to be able to talk about different initiatives at our different campuses, some of the workshops that we're planning for faculty to help get the word out about you know, the benefits of using OER during online learning during this time. Um, we, we truly do help each other with a variety of things. I mean, some of the things that I can think of in the past, uh, you know, six months that have been so helpful to discuss with this team are things like activities for Open Education Week and what are we planning? And um, in particular, talking with Ashley about some of the things that were, are going on at UT Austin and then kind of building off of that at UT San Antonio and just sharing those things out. So it's been so helpful. I, I think one of the things that, that sets this group apart um, is that, I mean, there are a lot of, uh, you know, OER distribution list, discussion list, and those are amazing for getting ideas and, you know, sharing out opportunities. But I think having a discussion, there's something different, you know, there, there's so much more that you get from that, actually getting to talk and, and discuss these things in depth. And one of the other great things too, I can say that it's been so helpful to talk about um, the coordinating board applications for OER and kind of that process and like some of the things that like tips and tricks that we shared out with each other for helping that process be a little bit smoother. And, um, and I think also putting together a list of our faculty that were interested in applying for those grants and sharing it out through the higher ed Google group was, was a really great thing. I think we can continue building upon some of those things, but it's been, it's been amazing so far. And I have to say, the membership through the Open Education Network has been uh, so great. Just the trainings to be able to be a part of that. Um, the Pub 101, um, some amazing sessions last summer. I, I, uh, I, I got so much valuable information that I've been able to actually already put into use with some of our um, projects going on with uh, related to OER at UT San Antonio. So it's been truly so helpful. Um, I'm trying to think of, there, there are just so many things that we have been able to do, but truly, I, I think we problem solve together really well and um, throwing out ideas and, you know, our problems that we have and, 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 and sharing that out and, and coming up with, you know, different ways that we can approach solving that. So um, I know at UTSA, we were exploring uh, open education uh, network membership and um, we had been talking about doing that for a while, and it was so amazing to be able to have this opportunity through TDL um, to not only be a member of the network, but then to participate with uh, other OER advocates across the state. So it's been, it's been an amazing ride so far. So we're starting work um, more on, you know, sharing out materials and tools to help support 
uh, you know, other OER advocates across the state, some things to help it make it a little bit easier to uh, support your OER programs at your different campuses. And one of the things that we want to do kind of at the tail end of the session is ask you, what are some ways that we can do that better or some other ideas that you guys have for helping us do that um, and better support you. So some, some things that are coming up, um, as Leah mentioned, we are having quarterly uh, meetings around OER discussion uh, topics related to OER, talking about some of those things. Um, we had our first one um, just last week. Was it last week, Leah? It was recently. It seems like the last few weeks have been a blur. It's been so busy. Um, we're really looking forward to continuing those conversations, sharing out what we're doing at our different campuses and hearing from you guys too on some of the things that you're working on. Um, one of the other things that we wanted to highlight too is the, the Texas Conference on Digital Libraries, which is an amazing, is an amazing conference for learning about, you know, overall what's going on uh, with libra libraries digitally, with you know, archiving, repositories, wonderful sessions at that conference. You may want to make sure that you are registered for that if you're interested. And there are also some uh, you know, discussions around OER at that conference too that you maybe want to take part in or um, listen in on. So be sure that you have that, your calendar is marked for that. One of the exciting projects that we are, we, we, we just discussed this at our last meeting, at our last ambassador meeting. Um, and I know there are a few resources that exist on course marking already. Um, some amazing uh, projects from U UT Arlington and other schools in Texas on how to go about the process of course marking. But we were thinking, one of the things that we want to do is kind of put together more of a practical like implementation toolkit for how to get that going at your campus. Um, and so I've been working on at UTSA having conversations with our faculty, our registrar, our bookstore on a reporting process for affordable textbooks. And I think we have the start of a, a, a nice toolkit that we can share out with others that are interested. If you haven't implemented course markings at your institution, I think it might be um, really useful for you. And then one of the things we would like to do, we've, we've just barely discussed this, but um, you know, collect the data through that form and kind of get an overall idea of what the OER usage looks like at our member institutions for the ambassadors, but also share that out more widely so that we can have a broader idea of what's going on with OER usage across, across TDL member libraries and, and, you know, across institutions in Texas. It, it will be CC licensed, so um, it will be something that, that will just be able to be used and then you know provide attribution for it so uh, be on the lookout for more information about that so as we mentioned um, one of the, the the main things that we wanted to do today share a little bit about what what's been going on with the ambassadors but we want to hear from you guys we are here to represent you know, OER work in Texas help build upon that, help you advance your OER initiatives at your different campuses. So we wanted to ask you for input. What are some areas um, where you're struggling with OER advancement and adoption at your institution? I know I can think of, you know, a few that are um, areas for me right now that are, you know, de there are definitely some things that are at the top of my list. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have those as well. Um, what are some solutions that the ambassadors could bring to help you overcome these barriers? So kind of think about this a little bit. Um, any ideas are welcome. And what we're going to actually do, let me advance to the next slide here. And I'm not sure, yes, I think we can do this. Let me actually copy the link here. I'm gonna pop this into chat. So this is going to be a link out to a Padlet. And I will go ahead and open it up on my screen and, and share it. If you want to go ahead and click it from the chat, this will be a way for you to provide some feedback for us on how we can better serve you and better support you. Um, and let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to stop my share for just a second. Let me get over to my, whoops, my Padlet. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and click out. Here we go. Hey, Deanne, it's Leah. Um, it's asking for login. I think it's set to private. Oh no. 
Okay. But we could have the discussion in chat if, if that's a <laughs> barrier. Um, that or might, people could just start talking. That would be fine. Yeah, that might be easier. It looks like I didn't open up the permission. Sorry about that's that. That's okay. So ideas, you can share your ideas in chat. Are there, and again, struggles, um, barriers that you're facing at your institution with, uh, you know, this could be partnerships on campus, you know, struggling to get some of those going, uh, conversations with faculty, anything that we can do to help with that, we are happy to do that. So any ideas, problems, go ahead and drop those into chat. Thanks, Dean. So Dean Hendricks with uh, UT San Antonio. Not necessarily a problem, but something that gets overlooked is that OER could be a great fundraising opportunity for the library and department. Um, Dean, do you have an example of what that might look like? Yeah, yeah. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Yeah, hi. Yeah. No, I just think that um, one of the things the ambassador program and just thinking about brainstorming is uh, preaching the word even outside of your institution. I know we have to build up our, our, our the students are an easy uh, win, uh, faculty less so and administrators less so, but um, who are easy wins? Uh, and I don't know if the ambassador, are, are people out in the public, they do want to reduce the cost of higher ed. And um, uh, we have had success uh, um, pushing OER. It's a very, it sells itself, I think. Um, uh, it's a very easy, easily, uh, you know, in, in the, the fundraising world, it's, you know, uh, identifying a problem, which is, we've all experienced uh, $300 textbooks. Uh, <laughs> we've all experienced bills that, that, that we can't pay. And uh, donors want to help students directly. And uh, I think um, uh, Deanne, in, in coordination with our um, development officer, Felipe Barrera, have done a really good job of, of, of making a simple, non-technical case for OER uh, to, the, to our community. And uh, uh, I don't want to jinx it, but we're on the cusp of, of getting a big donation right now, six figures for OER. Uh, just OER. So um, it's it's uh, something that I think that uh, as you go along, um, the ambassadors, I think Deanne could probably share some of our materials that we've used in our techniques that we've used to engage the general public. Sorry, I just gave you more work, Deanne. My bad. No. No, I actually was working with Felipe on this last, I think it was last month, and we were putting together like a, a just a, like a one pager. Um, you know, it's been great working with Felipe because he, he really, uh, I, I think, helps me break it down into terms that a donor would understand and, you know, to help, uh, you know, encourage the, encourage the support. So we put together like a one pager um, talking about, you know, benefits of, of, of free textbooks for our students, how it really helps them and how it also helps faculty, but in very simple terms. And so, um, yeah, we could definitely share some of those templates out. We, we also um, uh, did a crowdfunding project with student government. Um, we're trying to, to uh, bring that back, hopefully uh, this year. It's been a little harder, you know, with some of these, and it's been a little bit difficult, but those things have been easier too. So, but there are definitely some some templates we can share out um, with regard to donors and partnerships with student government as well. 
Lots of interesting comments happening in um, chat. And um, I don't want to forget track of time, Ariana. I think we've got, what, four minutes left. So um, go ahead and toss your uh, questions in uh, chat. But Jesus, hello. Um, it would be interesting to see suggested language for an institutional policy that creates an intellectual property carve out supporting the development of materials using Creative Commons licensing. Jesus, I'm wondering um, either in chat or go ahead and unmute yourself if you could 